Hey, welcome back. It's day uh, 30 again. Not really again, but yesterday we got done. Uh, I quit out right after midnight. Um, well, overnight, apart from that, I went ahead and got some uh, materials together so I can finish. Well, I can't finish the bridge. That's going to take. <laughs> that would take at least all day. Um, but what I can do is get a couple of. Uh, pieces in place and uh, you know kind of illustrate how this is gonna work mostly I think I'm gonna be doing this overnight it's gonna suck too because like it's darker and it's hard to see what you're doing I'm trying to think can I do one more no okay that's what I was afraid of give me uh, give me these then I don't know if this will be enough or if it's too deep by now but we can try see so, yeah you have to you can skip one and uh, the ceiling tiles will stick to the edge, but after that it gets a little ugly. Oh, damn it. Okay, now I gotta go get that because on the bright side I think I can. What? What? Pick it up. So, yeah, that would be the S plus element, I guess. Uh, get this. Damn, it's really hard to. This is why it's important to pick these things or be able to pick these. You don't have to, it's optional. But, uh,. You know, having the means is, is good. Uh, strictly, I don't need one every time. Could do, you know, every other one, and it would be just fine. But uh, I think that's fine, by the way. I don't know. Are they all attack? Yeah, they are. What's that? Oh, it's a nucleus. Yeah, it's a nucleus. Huh? <clears throat> For a second, it looked like kind of a... Not like a megalodon. You know, Karkarikles, but well, maybe more like it should look like a sand sharky. It was weird. Um, give me that. So yeah, I'll just get these into into place, and we'll have that out of the inventory, and therefore I'll weigh less, which would be nice. But that's basically the the job. Um, then uh, as we get further out, like now, I could do another seven, and then put put supports under this. The further out we get, the deeper it gets. I don't know if necessarily right here. Yeah, it is getting pretty deep. So, soon enough, I'll have to not only have a support connect to the top, but uh, supports on supports, under supports, etc. <clears throat> to get it to reach the ground, otherwise it doesn't count, which is fair. I mean, it's annoying and wasteful, but it's, you know, it's how it would be, I suppose. But yeah, this is, the, you know, it's still a bit weird, because I almost, I'm almost tempted to tear out the, uh, you know, starting with this one and all the way across, and then those three have it go up to roof tiles starting here. I, I don't know. I don't think it'll make a lot of applicable difference. Like, it shouldn't change too much about how it lays. You know, it, it, it'll be functional enough either way. How far? Uh, am I gonna? I don't know if I'd get over there in time for that sky laser. What is that thing? A hadrosaur, probably. Uh, not E because it's not Minecraft. Minecraft map, uh, it's a survival map. Um, I think it's a Hadrosaur. Yeah. The map we've been playing uh, when I'm not just doing this got absolutely insane. It's, uh, what the hell is it? Water block. It's, uh, it's been out for a couple of weeks, maybe. not less, I, It was sometime in February it came out. <clears throat> and by came out, I mean someone made it. It wasn't, it's not like official. It is nuts. The, uh, the final... Uh, mission uh, element of it is, 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 is weird. It's like according to the F3, it's it's the the biome is like deep ocean or something, but it's you know it's walled in with like black concrete or something to make it look like it's uh, um, you know the end biome. Oh man, just it's all about flying around and dodging shulkers and gas, so like a dozen of them at a time, maybe more shooting. Them. So yeah, this is uh, this is relaxing. This is there's nothing firing at me right now. It's very nice. It's yeah, Endermen the hell everywhere. It's all about collecting their skulls, which is weird for Minecraft. I mean, it's not that weird. It's a thing that happens. What do I weigh in fact right now? Probably a bit of wood and fiber and need food apparently. I probably gotta get some food. I don't know what I have in reserve. Where is there? It is 120. That's that's a bit that's a bit much for my pterosaur. Let me just ditch some 
<coughs> materials that aren't on their own doing me any good right now. I really think, and I, I might be really wrong to think this, I really think I might try to go up and get some obsidian. Um, 89, wow, that's pretty light. Oh, I wasted some arrows on that stegosaur yesterday. Cybersaur, whatever the hell it was. Um, I think 6 in the morning. Doesn't really matter what time it is, I'm just trying to decide if I can get this done, or at least get to a spot to quit at night uh, without being in too weird a place. I guess let's just try to do it. Where's my... If I knew where my pterosaur was, I could probably get more done with this today. There it is. What, what are you... Okay, come here. Go go away. From, well, you're leveling up or whatever. You're not, but... Okay, what the hell? How are you stuck here? How does this even work? Get out of the... Go oh the hell away. Sit. What the... Why would you do that? Thanks. Oh, they're still set to attack my... I don't know. That's... I'm gonna wanna. I'm gonna wanna get him back. I forgot that I had these things set to attack targets. Not so much set. I never. Uh, I never set them to do it, but that's what they're doing. Um, first of all, don't do that anymore. Just be cool. Uh, second, follow me so we can go back here and like, see if what Ajax is. Is that the same sky laser? Is it actually just set? Oh wow. No. No, it isn't the same one. It's a different one. Uh, is everyone else... What You're probably the same as far as following, doing bad things, or things that could be bad. Who else is... You're normal, right? Yeah. Where is... What What was that? The Baryonyx? Where is it? Oh, hi. Yeah, follow me a little more, and we'll put you next to a lizard. Away. Come on. You're not following very closely, are you? You're wasting my time. I gotta go do stuff today. Oh, from high. That's weird. Give me low. That's cool. Let's just go here. Get you over here by the, the lizards that make you all, you know, better. Okay, everyone stop. Whatever's going on. Give me, by the way, uh, just give this. Let's go. Uh, your your health is... Oh, you got food for or You got stuff for me. Let's go damage. Let's give me that at least. I'll put it away somewhere. You can, I guess you can hang on to the meat. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> is anyone like in the... Oh, you're sort of in the water. What? You're Gertie. That's weird. Oh, probably... Yeah, I, I know what happened. I sort of put this thing away yesterday, but... Or moved it so I could do something with the stairs. It's, it's fine. Just go right there. Really got to finish this whole bridge thing and build storage base kind of onto it. Okay, oh, so now I've got leather I probably don't need on me. Probably don't. What does even weigh? Can't weigh much. Uh, like a tenth of a pound for 20. Yeah, it's just re it's, it's irrelevant. Putting it away is just, there's no point, but I'm going to. Okay, and I've got lethal arrows, such as they are, loaded into the thing, so. <coughs> if we have any, oh, if we have any sort of issue, I'll just kick you yeah, I almost want to go to stamina at this point. But not quite. I, I want to hit 200 pounds of this if it's possible. I don't even know. 28. Well, why are we you know, we're dancing for a while? Oh, you know what? I was thinking I forgot to. Your female. Um, I don't really care. I was just, I was going to give you a name and I never did. You know what, let's go, this sounds like a, a name for you, how's that, a Rio, sure, why not, don't like it, name your own, you know, uh, Super Saw Red or whatever you want to call it, anyway, I'm going to head for the volcano, probably wouldn't hurt to have a map, yeah, just to, it'll be visible soon enough, but, it's not just about going to the volcano. The volcano is actually potentially dangerous for me. There are going to be some animals there that aren't going to like me, and they're going to actually have something to say about it. But the real trick for the moment is getting there at all. Uh, it's just 
it's a long, it's half, it's the center of the map. I gotta go halfway across this whole thing just to get there. And on this thing, I'm gonna have to land and recharge along the way. So I'm gonna want to watch for spots I can set this thing down. And right now we're pretty safe. We walk here all the time. I could jog over here and have it follow me. You know, just taken off from wherever. But, uh, this is technically probably faster than that. Maybe, I don't even know, it's hard to map it. Unless you're zoomed in and, you know, it's, it's hard to get a perspective on how fast you're going. But I think, apart from the odd, uh, oh, well, there's that thing. I can land on this rock. Just my stamina's already halfway gone. That's my problem with this, is, is, it's just tricky. I don't know, based on, well, the map, of course, isn't rendering. It looks like SimCity 1989. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, I just got to watch for spots that I can reasonably set down without getting eaten by something. Probably the worst, well, we got to go over these, this forest, and this forest is pretty bad anyway from at any level. If you're high enough up, I guess your only problem is getting tired and falling out of the sky. Oh, I don't. I, I gotta look at this. <laughs> I, I, I could not look at this. That would be an option, but then I'd always wonder what's in it. I'd rather know and not have it, just because it's going to weigh too much. I don't think it's going to. If it weighs a lot, I probably don't even want it. I'm like looking more for blueprints or something at this point. Uh, what is that? A blueprint, I guess? I think I have. I don't care. It's weightless. I'll take oh, Why do I do this? I'll take it. What the hell ever. Uh, how's my stand? You're good. Okay. I added like a fifth of a pound of blueprints, that's not going to hurt us. Uh, I don't have my map anymore, let me see where we're... I want to actually go more this way. <sighs> yeah, these woods contain all sorts of things. Uh, everything up to and including Tyrannosaurs can be found in here, typically. Tyrannosaurs are even... there's going to be more of them than Alvasaurs too. As we get closer to the volcano. Um, What's almost the worst thing, though, is the mammals. I mean, that's kind of a mammal, right? Well, there's certainly a mammal. Uh, the one running away, I think, is one of those proto-mammals. But Well, not really. It's a mammal. I'm sure it is. But uh, there's various cats and things. It'll just leap out of nowhere. Like, they could reach me right now, conceivably. They are jumpy, and they climb trees, and they just... Or they, at least they seem to appear out of trees when they're attacking, so... Well, looking for a spot to land and recharge without getting attacked by something. I also got to keep in mind I don't want to be too close to the ground because that's where all this stuff is. A uh, little further north, we're going to start running into uh, Argentavis Magnificence, which are great if you have one. They're not bad as cargo, you know, planes, basically. Um... They carry about 500 pounds out of the box before you level them up, which is good. The problem is they're not terribly friendly. These Pteranodons, pterosaurs in general, I think, I'm trying to think of an exception in this game, I don't know, will ignore you. You know, if you're not bothering them, they're not bothering you, they're meaningless. They're just, they exist and no one cares. <sighs> then you've got those horrid, uh, they're not Pelagornis, they're uh, Ichthyornis. The Ernest Dispar that keeps stealing all my stuff back there, just all my rotten meat, apparently. They're <clears throat> aggressive, they're fairly harmless. They can't, well, actually, I got killed by one. one. Well, I got killed by more than one. Oh, and that is what they're calling a terror bird. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, no, oh, damn it. It's a, uh, oh, I'll think of it. It's a, well, I, what they're calling it in the game isn't even a species, a genus. It, it, they're basically naming it after the entire family, which is like, what's that noise? Okay, that's harmless. Well, it's probably not harmless, but it's not after me. Which is similar to harmless. That's, hi, how you doing? Okay, let's get out of here. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's a uh, Titanus. Uh, something. It's it's a Cenozoic. That's not my concern. Typically, I'm not into the Cenozoic too much. It's not my area as such. I'll think of it. It's 
No, I, oh, and there's a dromaeosaur. There's a lot of dromaeosaurs. That's at least four or five. That's not something we're going to play with at all at the moment. You know, it, curiously, just dumb coincidence. Uh, it's Wednesday night here. There's a, there's a, not a Terratorn, it's a, uh, Argentavis, and there's a scorpion. Uh, Wednesday, I think it's still Wednesday night. It might actually be Thursday morning. It's, okay, 11.08 p.m. here. Um, Wednesday nights I tend to go out and do this kind of pub quiz thing, <clears throat> which is always, you know, it's trivial by definition. Uh, and it's always just oddball questions. It, no theme at all. It's like at a cinema, so occasionally, you know, this film is coming out. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, then they just hit you with things like, no, who would know this and why? But one of the questions tonight was this dinosaur, its name is Latin, and they say Latin because that's you know, what they guessed. This dinosaur's name is Latin for, and it was uh, Swift Caesar. Wait, there's a Tyrannosaur. You know, which sounds like Caesar, like, you know, pizza, like Kaiser from, you know, Fallout, right? That is very much a Tyrannosaur. Where's the volcano? <laughs> I don't even see it. That's concerning me. I know it's here. Did something update? I know something updated. That's what I'm wondering. How's my map looking? Oh, I'm going... Well, that's why I can't see it. There it is. <laughs> We're off course like all hell. I'm going to run out of stamina. That was a mistake. I should have been watching where I was going a bit. Are we... There's that Tyrannosaur still. Not going to play with that right now. I probably could if I had more stuff on me. I don't have any trank. I have a few arrows that might, probably wouldn't quite knock it out. I don't have anything to keep it trained long enough to tame it. I don't even know what level it is. We're just not going to do that right now. Some other time. So anyway, uh, yeah, Swift Caesar. Like, that which seizes. You know, which I'll be a plunderer, you know, thief. The obvious answer, well... The answer I came up with. Everyone at the table, of course, just hands it to me. Hands me the card. It's like, yeah, this is yours. <laughs> no question. You're the one. You're the paleontologist. You know, whatever. If he knows, if he's asking a real question, you're going to have an answer. Or you're going to tell him why he's wrong. That's happened before, occasionally. But, yeah, obviously it was Velociraptor Mongoliensis. Which I... Uh, strangely enough, I think there were, there were five or six different teams. It's a team thing. You collect up with a, people and you know, someone knows something and... Our team has everything from, uh, we've got an historian, so, I mean, you know, speaking of Caesar, anything, uh, anything newer than, uh, the Paleolithic, he's gonna be all over, he knows everything about it. We've got, uh, uh, like an electrical engineer half the time is there. It, it, all, you know, it's just all these people who are, uh, at least, if not expert, well-versed in, uh, at least in a couple of fields, a couple of genres, generally. Oh, where I don't know where I'm going to be able to land this thing that's not stupid. Uh, I don't know if I can get across the... What is that? Oh, is that a Spinosaur? That really might be. I think it is. I don't like this... Well, I'm not dead. Not yet. Let me see if I can land over on this cliff. It's, it doesn't seem like I'm moving at all. I really hate that. I'd like to be so much... I could be faster, but it would, you know, burn up my stamina far faster than I am. I would get less total distance at a faster speed. That's no good. Anyway, out of five, six, seven different teams, I don't know how many there were. Everyone got it right. I mean, <clears throat> no one else knew of Mongoliensis, but that, that's not surprising. No one ever does. I'm t I think with dinosaurs, uh, the only time you hear a species is Rex. And I don't mean like Othnelia Rex, I mean Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, oh, damn it, you... Okay, no, that was, that's right. I thought he ran out of stamina before I hit the button the space bar. Come on, get better. Let's go. Do you have any food? Oh, damn, why do I hit the wrong key? How did that make any sense to me? You're out of food. That's... Am I out of food? I assume so. Yeah, I could give you some cooked meat, but so what? Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens to you, I guess. You, you'll you survive for a while without food. You'll be fine. Might be able to hack something fairly... Fairly, uh... Insignificant into into meat. Oh, I forgot. To, was that a spinosaur? I assume so. Yeah, that's a spinosaur. I wonder what number. I'm a little. 
This is not a good time to be <laughs> sightseeing. I just gotta get where I'm going. And figure out food later. I don't know. Let's see if I can find a dodo, which there probably won't be a dodo around here. But I at least want to get up halfway up this mountain. Which, you know, borders on safe. There are some animals that will just chase you up as long as there's any... There is a way to walk up this. It's to the west. You have to go over the hell over there to the ocean and come back along this trail and get attacked by at least truodons, which is... Uh, it's kind of a long process if you survive. It's shorter if you die. I guess it would be. I think the worst I've ever done here was I uh, landed this thing... Well, not this thing, but one of these things up on the edge because there's a, it's a volcano you know inside the lava but uh, the edge is thick enough you can land a thing on it and that's what I did it is not thick enough apparently the way I landed to jump off the thing and remain in you so I fell down the mountain and died now my pterosaur is stuck at the top of this damn thing and I have no way to even get within range of it so I had to train a whole new pterosaur put a new saddle on the thing fly it over, because it wasn't as good as the one I had accidentally abandoned. Fly it, and I got within range and started whistling like hell. It was like, follow me, come home, and we turned around. And managed to get them both home, but it was, man, that, that took a couple of hours to make work, three or four, actually, to catch and tame and build up a new pterosaur just to the point that it would be able to make this trip, however slowly, however many jumps, stopping to rest and whatever. Meaning the new one was about as good as this one is now. I, I really hate that I lost the one that I lost. That one was really not too bad, given the level I'm at right now. As far as, uh, there's obsidian right there. As far as, uh, don't fall off the, okay, see, that's what I don't want. It's obsidian there, right? What does this stuff actually weigh? That's nine of them, I think I need, it's not beef. Um... <clears throat> Oh, these are... Oh, they're a pound each. Okay. So that's not terrible. It... I mean, it could be better, it could be worse. It, could, it might be worse. Am I, can I get over there or am I going to fall? Okay. I don't want that much. I'd love to have a lot, but I can't do it. Let me see what I can get and then we'll make the... It, it, I might be able... I don't... I think If I had an Argentavis, I think it would work. Let me see what happens if I try something really stupid. 20 pounds... 20 pounds makes no difference. I can get metal any time. I can really get rocks any time. I now weigh... I don't know what I weigh. I'm looking at this. 100 and... We can do it. I think we can just do it. I don't think there's anything else in here that I can't get elsewhere. There's crystals down there, but we can get those in metal, though. <coughs> yeah. I think we're just going to try to get home with what we've just got. Probably be a little tougher to get back. No, oh, and you still don't have any food, huh? How's your hunger looking? You're not bad. You're pretty good. <coughs> oh, nuts. Um, get on the thing, turn around, and go. We don't want to go that way because it'll freeze. Uh, let me map out and make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. I'm really not. That's weird. What? That's not the ice. It looks like the ice. I guess it's just the way it's rendering. That's strange. So I want to go more or less dead ahead, I think. Pretty close. It, again, it's all pixelated right now for some reason. My little peninsula is down there and the straight, straight south. Well, not straight south, but straight the one I'm pointing, which is mostly south. Probably don't want to be this high up because if we get sleepy, we're going to fall and get hurt. And I don't have a terrace arbor because I'll never find it again. It's just a mess. So I got to find somewhere near the ground, well, I gotta stop because I'm where on the ground to land, that's that's what it means, to land on land. Can't really land on like a cloud. Not in this game. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's really just all about timing at this point. We gotta find a place to stop and rest for, you know, 10 seconds, whatever it takes, 15, 20, too, too many seconds half the time because there's stuff after us. Always. Oh, there, that's better. Yeah, dead ahead. Although it may be, you know, slowing me a bit, just slowing me a bit to uh, avoid uh, being anywhere terribly bad for us. Uh, what is... I don't know what exactly that thing is. Although it looks like it might be a robot. 
I don't know, it might just be the way it's rendering. It's not that great. I'm down in DirectX 10, because otherwise it hitches while recording, and I don't like that. Um, that looks steep, but safe-ish. And we're at about 40%, 35 on uh, stamina, so now seems like a good time to watch for bad things. And if It's definitely a Hadrosaur. I, th I think that might be a robot. Oh, this is steeper than I thought it was. Uh, that might work. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what that is. Hang on. You land. You... Let me see this thing. Where is it? I've lost it. I don't know. That's the Diplodocus. I saw that. That's a robot, yeah. 30. That's the one I should have killed if I was going to... Well, it's not like I was around for it. What's that? Oh, that's the head reserve. Alright, I guess we're done here. Let's go back to flying the hell home. I, I'm, I'm, I'd be tempted to argue that the number of, ha of herbivores we're seeing somewhat unmolested, unmurdered, is good news. <clears throat> but it's, you know, it's not that, it's not remotely that simple. The predator-prey ratio is really impossible. Uh, presuming, and I am, I pretty much always have, at least for quite a while, presuming that the uh, the theropods in general, at least anything after about the lion's and I mean, it, mid to late Jurassic on, <clears throat> I would suspect strongly that any given theropod was uh, endothermic, uh, warm-blooded. If so, here's the thing with being warm-blooded, and you may know this from being warm-blooded yourself. You have to eat a lot. Uh, it, if you eat, I don't care, 2,500 kilocalories in a day, well, 2,000, you know, 2,500. I eat a lot, but I'm really tall. 90%, um, if you eat 2,000 uh, things, you know, whatever, uh, I don't know what that equates to couple of really big cheeseburgers I mean, is about 2,000 kilocalories. A hundred and, or uh, 1,800 of that, all, all things being equal, assuming you're not sprinting all day every day or, uh, you know, whatever it is, it takes a lot of, uh, an uncommon amount of energy. If you're sitting around playing video games, probably. Out of 2,000 kilocalories, 1,800 are going to maintaining your uh, temperature. You know, 98.6, 99, whatever you are, it, it, you're not necessarily 98.6. You're anywhere from 96 to 102, maybe. Your house cat is about 104. Uh, how are we doing on not dying? So, when you're endothermic, and I, as far as I know, all mammals, I can't think of an exception, I think all mammals are endothermic, all living mammals, for sure. Um, it, it takes so much food to uh, convert to energy, to you know, etc. Just to keep, just to become, just, just to prevent becoming cold-blooded, which in the case of mammals more or less means dying. Uh, so, you know, as a fairly classic example, if you're in Montana in the Cretaceous and the Nestrictian uh, age, you're going to see a hundred Triceratops horridus for every one Tyrannosaurus rex. Uh, because you need a game trail, uh, a, uh, a food base, you know, a, a prey ratio of about a hundred to one, you know, assuming mass is similar, and I, I do. Uh, there are those, people estimate Tyrannosaurus anywhere from six to like ten metric tons. I think they're wrong. <laughs> uh, looking at the, you know, you, you take apart a Tyrannosaurid femur, I would be impressed if we ever discovered for sure that they weighed more than three tons. I don't think they were that heavy. I think they were really pretty agile. And of course, I'm, I've always opposed like Jack Horner on uh, the scavenger thing. I don't doubt that Tyrannosaurs scavenged, you know, 
all sorts of animals scavenge, but it, it wasn't. We know <clears throat> there's a cat that would be bad to meet. Um, <clears throat> we we have enough evidence that tyrannosaurs were actual predators. Um, here in Denver at the museum, we've got a uh, a hadrosaur, a uh, not a, one of these parasaurs, but uh, Admonosaurus anectans. It actually has a, a missing a bite missing out of uh, one of its uh, vertebrae. Um, it's not only missing, but healed. And uh, given the height of the animal and the height of it and so on, and the general characteristics of this missing piece, it was almost, well, it, and, and what lived where at what time. It was pretty much conclusively a tyrannosaur. came up, bit the thing on the base of its tail, those are bees I don't want to meet. We should be not here. And I don't want to sprint. This guy's out of food. And Did I see a bee or was that just... I don't know what I saw. Um, the... Uh, yeah, it, just going... Uh, yeah, I'll come to Razor. The best explanation, the simplest, most likely explanation for this missing chunk of vertebra is that a Tyrannosaur walked up and just bit the thing. Leaned down and bit it because Tyrannosaurs are pretty big. The, the Amonosaur is like 10 feet tall. Incidentally, I mean, that's... Am I going to outrun you guys? <laughs> I don't want to get too fancy without running you guys. I just don't want to encounter you. because Well, actually, if I killed them, I'd get food for this guy. Maybe it could work out. It's just there's so much else to keep in mind. We're just... You know, what the hell is time going on? I would like to get. This is gonna. Get, we're about to show up at Metalville. That might be a good place to just sort of rest. Well, if I can get that far, I don't know what I can do. I keep not looking at the map and keep going off course. It's pretty bad. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you're in Montana, Wyoming, Colorado. To pick one. The whole front range. Well, Alberta. The whole Rocky. Well, no, the Rocky Mountains are kind of newer than this. Well, kind of. Um, yeah, so you've got, you know, you know, Triceratops. It's a, one of the better known. It's one of the, it's, I don't know, it's, it's pretty well known. We know a lot about them as animals. The point is it's more, uh, one of the more popular animals. You know, you compare a Triceratops horridus to, uh, I don't care, even just, like, Protoceratops and Jerusi just to stick with the Ceratopians. You know, one in a thousand people has ever heard of a Protoceratops. These days, they used to be, they used to be more uh, popular. Uh, there were toys. I haven't really heard of them lately, much. It, how am I rearing this far? Anyway, um, if a Tyrannosaur. <coughs> I'm going to call it three tons. You know, there are a lot of people tell me I'm wrong, but what do they know? Of course, what do I know? I mean, <laughs> there's really, apart from just looking at the cross-section of the, you know, just, just imagining the strike, not, not just to hold itself, you know, to stand up at all, but running, sprinting, I suspect they're running and sprinting, it's a thing. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be 30 miles an hour, that's, that's hilarious. I'm not sure a Velociraptor would be that fast, or a Denonicus. Uh, I would say a Tyrannosaur would probably be more 10 to 12 miles an hour, which is, you know, if you can run, you can probably, at least short distances, you could probably run 12 miles an hour. It's not that fast. Uh, you know, it's, there are people alive today who can run twice that fast, or pretty close to twice that fast, 24, 25, something like that, over 20, which is pretty fast for running. Um, so we'll just, we'll call it, for the sake of argument, three tons. These guys are four tons, maybe five, probably four. <clears throat> the predator-prey ratio, optimally, is one endothermic theropod predator for every hundred herbivores. And that gets murky because I'm strictly, it's looking like ceratopian, like triceratops in particular, maybe omnivorous, they may have... Uh, you know, you talk about scavengers. 
they probably didn't do a lot of what. Well, they probably did exactly that, although not with Dilophosaurus, because again, that's you know early mid Jurassic. Um, but they they may have stumbled across uh, just dead things and slurped them up. Why not? That they weren't exclusively herbivorous, they were likely omnivores of a type. Even so, they're walking meat, is what they are, um, as far as a Tyrannosaurus is concerned. You want to see in nature <clears throat> one Tyrannosaur for a hundred Ceratopians, a hundred cer Triceratops. If they had, if Tyrannosaurs were, and it doesn't matter what the had, uh, had, uh, herbivores are in this uh, circumstance, they, they could be ectothermic. They almost certainly weren't, but they could be. Um, for all that matters to this equation. And the equation is that with a warm-blooded predator, you want a hundred times its mass in walking food and available to eat. Uh, if it were an ectotherm, you can get away with ten times what you have. What, what he is. What, you know, the Tyrannosaur. I don't have any food here for you, right? How do you get off this thingy? I don't think I left anything here at all. No. How are you actually doing? Alright, let's just, let's just finish the going home part. And then everything will be perfect. Um, this game, meanwhile, and I think there's like a dossier that mentions that it's just insane how often you see a given, you know, theropod, uh, species for species. There are probably more Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus, but not by enough. It's like five to one, maybe ten to one on the outside. <clears throat> um... So you know, the, it 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 argues that the backstory on this is bizarre. It's you know, and I don't want to necessarily give that much away. Uh, you know what I understand of it, which honestly isn't all of it. I don't think I've ever collected all of the books and stuff and figured out exactly what's meant to have happened. I don't know if anyone has. I don't know if there's actually an answer. I do know. Uh, that, you know, the plot twist at the end is, is uh, a little absurd. Uh, maybe not absurd, but it's certainly not what you're seeing happen here. So. But the point is we are not in the Mesozoic, I can tell you that for sure, obviously. There's too much stuff that evolved later and too much stuff that it was extinct by, you know, by the end of the Permian they were gone, etc. I don't know, there's, a, there's three tri Triceratops there. We passed a few of them on the way here. There's Chromiosaur or two over there I don't want to talk about. Caesars. I'll catch one and name it Caesar now. Um, but, yeah, there's one now. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before that thing shows up in my house. You know what's going to happen. It's eating like a, not a dinotherium, but a, uh, that, that therium thing, or it's a mammal. Who cares? <coughs> yeah, this is a, you don't see a clump of tyrannosaurs like this in the game. So it could be a lot worse. If there's 100 Triceratops, I'm not sure there's 95 Tyrannosaurs, but there are probably 10 treating it like an ectotherm, and I don't, I don't know, that would be wrong. Uh, now in cases, again, it's all things being equal, whatever that might mean. Uh, in reality, the, the Dromaeosaur back there, and I'm going to call that a Deinonychus enteropus because it really looks like one. It's about the right size. It's, it's shaped. It doesn't even look to me like a Velociraptor. Um, it, it looks like a Deinonychus, which I'm sure I've mentioned at some point was, you know, Greg Paul deciding for himself that uh, Deinonychus enteropus should be called Velociraptor enteropus. He was wrong. I think at, at this point he acknowledges he was wrong. It's not even like this isn't an argument anymore. It's more of a mis... You know, it's, okay, so that was incorrect. Um... In reality, and in the Cretaceous, you know, you're, you're in the Aptian, Ulpian age, 
at the lower early Cretaceous, early-ish. Why? What? What did I just get that made you heavy? I thought that was a blueprint. Am I wrong? How is that a twenty-pound blueprint? Oh, it's not. That's actually a whole thing. Okay. Well, nuts. Let me try this thing. Get off the thing. Give me this. Give me. Follow me, and we'll just get you home and then talk. I thought that would look like a blueprint. I don't know why. You with me? Yeah. I think we're both gonna get home faster if I'm not trying to ride on your back with too much stuff for you. Uh, so you're in, you're sitting there in like the old NH. In, uh, well, also Montana, actually. All of the good stuff happens just right around from Denver to, uh, um, trying to think of a city in Alberta. Okay. Well, anyways, Denver to Billings, Denver to Snake Water, um, uh, Hell Creek, whatever. Um, you know, spanning. Almost 200 million years, 165 million years, certainly, of dinosaurs being what they were. All just, they're all here, it's crazy. Just the whole Rocky Mountain, eastern edge, eastern, uh, well, west, uh, the eastern, uh, western shore of the Inland Sea is a way of putting it, I suppose. Uh, with a Deinonychus, you're not necessarily looking at 100 to 1 because they're not big. They're maybe 150 pounds. Are you not doing your job? What are you... Come here. Okay. You happy with that? Sit. And you got food now, right? You have a little, you have a little food icon. What are we looking at for food here? Anything good? Lots of meat. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't know why it's not going to help me to have it anywhere else because I don't have berries yet. But at the moment, I can get them. I've had them before and I can get more. Oh, get in there. And uh, the obsidian, I want for a couple of reasons. One, let me throw it in here and I'll probably have to combine it with something. But how do you do this? Flint, which strangely I don't have a bunch on me. Some metal would be great. I only need a couple, so just give me a couple. And I'll figure out where flint is because I don't seem to have any. Okay, do I have any in here? It seems like I probably have some. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, throw that in there and I'll make some scissors. And the point of this, get out of my way. I'm going to do something for a couple of reasons. One fairly boring reason is to look better. Because right now I look like this, which is, you know, Hagrid. Um, the other is right click. <clears throat> uh, let's go, well, let's just get rid of this entirely, it just bugs me. There, great. <laughs> so much better. Uh, I've got this, because I'm, I want to, oh, that's awesome. Let's just go, oh, that's a little short. I don't know, right now my hair is probably, uh, it's not really representative, is it? Yeah, it's longer than this, but also shorter, it's, it's I got it cut in June. Which means I got it cut last year, which was last year was one of the years I got it cut. I don't do that very often. That's fine. More importantly, gift me. Uh, okay, noted. That I got yeah, 30 human hair. Um, which, uh, why do I think, no, shut up, get out, I don't care. Uh, give me this, go, is it tea? That actually used up a fair percentage of that, so that's, that's a bit annoying, actually. I don't need them on me at any given time two more ingots to fix. How much obsidian did that actually use? Five? Okay, that's a bit. Um, but also now I have 30 of these, so get in there. Do I even know, I don't know if I know how to make, I don't know if I ever did that, because I said it was 23. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and learn how to do these, although I don't think I'm going to be in a position to do much with it right now. And, uh, yeah, whatever I need for this, I don't have. I need 48 wool hair, just for shoes. Uh, 30, 40 for gloves. 56 for, uh, 
hat thing. 96 for trousers, leggings, and uh, 80 for a football jersey. Um, that's a lot. That's going to be saving up hair for some time. It's going to take some time to grow back to this one, because right now I look like this. Um, which is, doesn't matter what I look like. That's not the issue. What is this thing? What do you? I don't, I don't even care about that. I'm just gonna uh, go put that in the where I put this sort of thing. I guess. Did I thought it was a blueprint? It looked like a blueprint background. I guess I was wrong. So I have that. What time is it now? At eight. Yeah, nine thirty. Hmm. So I've got fifteen obsidians. Let me see what trouble it was to get that. By the way, if I had a bunch, I could. Uh, I could make seven of these, basically, with what I have. I just don't know if there's any point. Like, any immediate point. Seven would get... What do I not sat nap? Oh, I only need five. How do you make electronics? Pearls. Pearls aren't that hard to get. I mean, they're hit and miss. They're more hit and see if you get them, actually. But, uh... Give me that. Let's just... Let's make that happen, in fact. Let's get that in there. Uh... Because I do want a sat nav. That'd be really helpful. I need five. So give me that. Make five. And then we'll have that. And these won't expire. I can get uh, polymers from uh, uh, Hesperornis and a couple of things. I can club penguins to death, which you know, is always fun. But, uh, yeah, I just I need 15 electronics, which are metal, which I'm not short on, and I can get more. I basically need... What do I have exactly right now? I have fives. I need 15, so what I need is uh, 45 pearls, which obviously I don't have. But, if I smack a trilobite, I stand a decent chance of getting a couple. I don't think I have any. I'd be surprised if I had any, but maybe I'll check. I have black pearls. It doesn't count. I don't think it counts. Does it? You know what? I don't even know. Let's find out. Mm -mm. If I throw those in there, do you think I have something, or... No, it's got to be the white ones. So that, I don't know what these are for, but not this, apparently. So, good news. Well, bad news, really. It doesn't make any difference. I need 45 is what I need. Then I can do the sat-nav GPS thingy, and we'll have that, and it'll help. Um, should have the petrol to make that happen, just to churn out 15 more of these and uh, and then actually assemble the, the this is going to be 50 polymer that's insane at that point you're you're heavy into production on, on the whole obsidian thing to get the to make this work crystals I can get electronics we just talked about metal I have then this takes polymers I don't have to hmm hmm so that's a project for another time. I'll basically, again, I can't sleep in this game, so there will be trilobites here and there overnight, and then I can get more in the morning maybe. At some point I'll get enough pearls together and then I'll be able to, uh, or I could, you know, go across the river and swat Hesperornis maybe. One way or another it'll work out. I'll get it sometime. Uh, I could pet the lizards real quick, because everyone likes that, right? If I can get to them, that'd be lovely. Just to throw experience at things I'm not necessarily leveling up there at this minute, but it's nice to have the option. Get out of my way. That's it. And uh, here you are. Okay. So, I do need... I'm going to steal some meat from you guys. Just... That's cool. Is there any more? Yeah, more dead stuff. Fine. And uh, I've got a fireplace. <laughs> I've got a campfire in here for whatever reason. That's where I put it, so that's the reason. I don't... Is there any... There's no wood in there, that's concerning. I'll throw that in there, throw this in the thing, and overnight I'll get some... I have wood in the box, actually. I can get this stuff. Just give me... Uh, just give me that. That's good enough for the cookies. Let's go down to whatever I'm... 23 meats at the moment, which is a little tight. I wouldn't hate having more of that on me. I should probably, and it'll take this thing... No, it won't. I can do a... Uh, Oh, what the hell is it called? Do I even have it? No. Uh, I could make a uh, preserving bin, 
which um, do you think? Um, you know, this and uh, throw cooked meat in there along with uh, oh, it says here spark powder and uh, stuff, oil. You make jerky. It's really a long process. Like half the meat spoils while you're trying to make it happen, but it is an option. And then the jerky lasts for a few. Where this stuff, you know, spoils every few minutes, whatever it is. It's uh, in 15 minutes. One of these will go bad. So that's uh, I don't have to eat one by the way. That's something that you know jerky lasts longer, so it's got that advantage in general. But you know. That's uh, that's all more later. You know, we get that stuff put together and make it work. Yeah, I'm done for today. So another kind of almost late night, I guess. But I'll get out of here for now. Um, uh, Michael, look at that sky laser behind me there. One of them, anyway. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll just see you tomorrow. So, bye.